remember how many megabytes or whatever the um, the uh, hard drive is, but like I said, still works. Um, this other board here is it's um, an accelerator card, kind of like the the things you get in the Amiga 1200. You can get like RAM accelerator cards, and what those RAM accelerator cards actually do is it gives you a lot of RAM. It also adds like um, it also adds like extra processors. So if the Amiga 1200's got, I can't remember what chip it's got now. Um, is it 68010 or no 68020? Then the um, the expansion boards could add like a, a 68040 or something in it. In it. Um, I don't think this has got an extra chip in like that, but it has got uh, some fast RAM in there. Some, and I think. I think off the top of my head, I can't remember now, it's got 16 megabytes um, of expanded RAM in this, which is, I mean, for the day in an Amiga is quite a lot. So I'm pretty lucky to have this expansion board. I know these expansion boards now are really, really rare. They really are. And I'm, I know I'm really lucky to have this in, in my Amiga. Um, like I said, it is a... I'm pretty sure it's it's either an eight megabyte or it's a sixteen megabyte, but like I said, these things are really rare now, um, and um, I'm really lucky to have one in there. These I think this came with some software as well because it, on the um, workbench there is a software thing for this that kind of controls it. I haven't got that um, software for this anymore, so I don't think I'd be able to change this hard drive because without that you know piece of software to run this expansion board you know i'll probably run into a bit of trouble there um one thing that does need replacing then here you probably can't see it there's um that thing there that blue thing that is the um oh what do you call it it's the uh, battery for the pack and that has actually corroded onto the board and that does need replacing, but that is a common fault on these big Amigas. They always need replacing, and they always seem to corrode. But that is the only thing um, on the actual boards of this Amiga that is um, screwed, basically. But I, I did buy a replacement um, battery to to replace that at some point. I really need to get around to it. Uh, I just want to show you the boards, because, the, you know, with this being in the um, a shed with all the you know with all the damp over the years and stuff the boards are in mint condition the boards just they haven't taken any damage from from dampness or or anything like that i mean you can see the damage that is caused on there from damp and being in the shed and stuff but that kind of damage hasn't transferred onto the actual boards themselves the, the boards are just like brand new um the only thing with these boards is they're really dusty and dirty more dusty than anything and they probably just need a bit of a spring clean well there's no doubt about it they do need a spring clean but as for like rust and stuff like that they're free from all that they're you know all the chips and capacitors and everything they're all all right nothing's corroded apart from that clock battery so i'm pretty lucky that you know getting away with having this in the shed for all those years um, some of the things, I did start buying some stuff to um, replace uh, some of the stuff in there because what I, like I said, what I do plan on doing is replacing all these wires, trying to get a new um, <coughs> power unit, which I think is going to be near impossible because to get a power, the exact or similar power unit to this is really hard. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm losing my voice here. Um, I have got some replacement um, floppy drives and stuff, so yeah, floppy drives, I need a new CPU, I want to replace all the wires, I need to replace the clock battery and everything, I just need to clean it basically, just get all the, um, the what you call it, all the dust off it, basically need to hoover it. So what I did a few years ago is I actually bought a few parts for it that I haven't put in yet started getting some more ribbons or wires whatever as you can see this is one of the um replacement floppy drives that i bought still sealed in this box that i bought from omegakit.com if you are into the amiga and you want some stuff 
replacement parts for any of your Amigas, no matter what they are, then head over to AmigaKit.com. Amiga Kit does have, um, you know, power units like this, but none of them are suitable for the 1500. Um, they just, then they're just the way they are and where the the on switches are and stuff. They just won't go in this 1500. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I mean, still the power unit still works, but I would like to replace it just in case any damp did get in there, you know. And um, I know there's a lot of dust in there because all the dust seems to come out the fan at the back. Okay, so just to finish off, I'll remove that. Okay, so here you can actually see the replacement um, uh, battery that I got. I need to stick in there. I probably need to buy a new battery now because I don't know whether that would still be alright. Um, I've had that sitting in the back of a cupboard for years and years. Again, another. Uh, cable and another floppy drive. I didn't want to put these into the Amiga without having all the parts, um, you know, all the wires and stuff that I wanted to replace in there, and without like totally stripping everything off, cleaning everything, and putting everything back together. But there's no point in putting these in there where it's still dirty and stuff. So that's my Amiga 1500 and um that was my special video i'm sorry i can't show you it working um i'm gonna have to leave that for another day when i will get up into loft at some point so yeah just um thanks for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, me talking about the 1500